The video that follows was extracted from a broad scale continuing professional development program that was designed to support the CE profession in their understanding of the science of continuing education. For those who are unfamiliar with Archimedics and what we've done, this brief video will provide you an introduction and an overview to the learning actions and the learning actions model. Now I'll join you again at the end of this brief video to explain a little bit more about how you can partner with Archimedics and how we, working together, can support your continuing education program. Thank you very much. Now this video is intended to provide a very actionable understanding of one critical component of instructional design. But before we get too deep into the specific topic, I'd like to take a moment and present you with a challenge. And hopefully this will ground the conversation, allow us to explore the topic from a common starting point. If we accept that the goal of continuing education in the health professions is to positively impact the quality of health care by planning, designing, and implementing educational interventions that effectively and efficiently drive positive changes in learners' knowledge, attitudes, skills, and behaviors, then we should readily accept that constructing effective and efficient educational activities is the core competency of the CE professional. Now, with that as background, it seems to be abundantly clear that educational planners have increasingly leveraged adult learning theory within the development and the planning of the continuing education they produce. And likewise, it seems abundantly clear that educational planners have increasingly leveraged adult learning theory in the delivery and the execution of the continuing education that they produced. But with very few exceptions, there seems to be one very critical assumption being made by educational planners. And that assumption is that learners know how to learn. Think about the magnitude of that assumption. If learners do, in fact, know how to learn, then we can reasonably continue down the path we're on and we can create our educational interventions knowing that our learners can organize the information being presented to them and structure their processing of that information. However, if the assumption's flawed, then there's a significant inefficiency in the system and the impact of the educational interventions we plan may be significantly undermined. Now, this seems to be a fairly significant unresolved question, and to address the matter, my colleagues and I have interviewed more than 200 clinician learners to explore the actions that they take in reaction to the content that the CE community has been developing and delivering, and the findings have provided us with a very clear answer. With very few exceptions, learners do not, in fact, know how to learn. As an outcome of these semi-structured interviews, we're able to uncover three very important realities that may alter the way educational planners see their role in developing and delivering CE interventions. The first finding is that clinician learners we interviewed generally acknowledge four distinct learning actions that determine whether or not participation in CE will have a measurable impact on their knowledge, skills, attitudes, and behaviors. These learning actions include note-taking, setting reminders, searching for answers to new questions as they arise, and social norming or learning. And when these actions are efficiently and effectively taken by learners, they believe that participation in CE leads to some of the most memorable events they can recall. But when these actions are not taken effectively or efficiently, learners believe that the impact of the CE that they participate in is hit or miss at best. The second finding is that clinicians, with few exceptions, believe they are not properly equipped to take these actions while engaging with the information being provided. When asked to grade themselves on how well they take notes or structure reminders that drive sustained reflections, how well do they find the best answers to questions as they emerge, or how well do they leverage social norming and learning while participating in CE interventions, the average grade clinicians gave themselves fell someplace between a C- and an F. Moreover, when clinician learners were asked if they had ever worked to ensure that their learning actions were evolved, or if they've ever been trained on how to make efficient, more efficiently take notes, set reminders, conduct searches, or, or leverage social norming or learning while participating in CE interventions, the answer was, again, with very few exceptions, no. In almost every interview we conducted, learners stated that they've been learning 
the same way since they were in high school or college. If we remember the general assumption we began with, that learners know how to learn, it seems from this initial data set that that assumption is largely, if not entirely, wrong. The third finding that the CE community, um, the third finding we made is that the CE community has not been actively supporting these learning actions. Now this should come as no surprise since the community has long assumed it unnecessary. But given the new reality that although clinicians acknowledge the, cl the critical importance of these learning actions, they're not equipped to take these actions efficiently, it is now clearly an obligation of the CE community to both structure, to provide the structure that supports the actions, but also to encourage or nudge these learning actions as a means of driving positive changes in knowledge, skills, and attitude, skills, or behaviors. So how does this understanding of what we've come to call the natural learning actions work with existing understanding of learning? For simplicity, these natural learning actions may be considered a simplified abstraction of Gagne's nine learning events, where an attempt is being made to deconstruct into component parts a broader process that many assume is simple or intuitive. Now, my suggestion is that you become more familiar with Gagne's learning events, as you may find uh, that they are useful in as much as they represent the key stages in the instructional process. But importantly, they do not establish the actions that learners must take to effectively engage in each stage. Whereas the natural learning actions model is learner-centric and clearly identifies the specific actions that learners acknowledge as being critical to their successful learning, Gagne's events focus on the actions that educators must take. In summary, new data suggests that clinician learners engaging in our CE interventions struggle to take the necessary actions to structure and process the information as it's received, yet they let it readily acknowledge what these actions are. The natural learning actions that learners must take to derive significant impact from participation in CE are, one, note-taking, two, setting reminders, three, searching for answers to new questions as they arise, and then a fourth, the subtle new form of social norming or learning. Now these learning actions may be seen as a way of modeling the process of learning, and it should be accepted by educational planners that they're obliged to support and encourage these actions in our learners. If you're interested in learning more about Archimedics, the natural learning actions research, or the learning actions model, please contact us at the URL above or reach out directly to the Archimedics team at info at Thank you very much.